Hello, and welcome to the wonderful world of the JP server. I am Rhubarb, and I will be your guide. Let's just pop into good old Ilfalo Town, Channel 1. As you can see, here's a little advertisement for the new Magic Sphere. Fancy, fancy. The first thing you might notice is that there are a lot of people over here. Lots of shops. Fun, fun. Also, I'm not sure if this is going to show up because this pops in a different window, but this is the person, the event person, that has the little calendars so I'm talking about. So I'm not sure if this even pops up, but let's see if I can get it to work. This is the July calendar. Basically every day you log on you get a little wax seal. And if you get up to 28 days in a month you get cool prizes. Uh, you also get prizes at 5 days, 12 days, 20 days, and of course 28 days is the best prize for that month. Uh, every time you reach a uh, landmark, you get a prize that you can click a little button over here and have it mailed to you. This ends, of course, at the end of uh, August. It's a little summer event. Here's the uh, login event adventurers reward for August. I've only logged in three days in August, so I don't have a reward yet to claim, but maybe I'll have a video of when I actually claim it. It goes right to your mailbox, so it's kind of cool. You don't have to do anything fancy. You just log on, and then kaboom, you get prizes. Hooray! The other thing that Lakuza was posting about is the boss trial event, or the monster rush, which ends later this week. I haven't gotten very far, but I did do the first and the second. It's kind of like a little game board. You move your character around. You start over here. Uh, the first prize was you kill some stuff. It was pretty easy. You had to do 20 out of 20 monsters. And if you met the conditions, you got dex and agility candy bar times three, which I did and I got. And then the next one uh, was pretty easy as well. You had to kill 10 uh, random monsters. And then you received an award. Uh, just some things. Not Nothing really fancy again. It's just kind of to keep you mainly entertained when there's nothing else going on. But, you know, that's kind of cool. So there's that, and uh, I haven't completed the one that I'm on yet, obviously. I'm at 7 out of 20. And these are 30 minute uh, increase drop coins, so whoop de doo You get those all the time on the North American server because they think that's neat. But over here that's actually a pretty cool thing because we don't have the increase drop rate. So there's that. I haven't finished that one. When you get around to these uh, cool golden icons that have the axes, you can fight bosses and then you get chances at cooler drops and uh, you can unlock titles and stuff like that. So there's that. Before that there was a little tic-tac-toe board which I don't have access to anymore because that went away. But in the tic-tac-toe board uh, you had to kill groups of monsters and if you finish your tic-tac-toe oh, yeah. board you get some cool stuff like uh, the prize, if you finished the whole board, was that you got a magic sphere, which was cool. And you also got two of these item randomizer uh, stones, which I'll show you some about that in just a sec. Johnny. Johnny. Very manly for a woman. I like that. 
So my items, uh, let's just look at my axe here, which is a tomahawk plus five, which you'll have access to when the next dungeon comes out. It comes from San Argent Remains. It's uh, SR11. And as you can see, it has a plus three to physical attack. It has plus 10 uh, durability, and it has minus 0 0.05 to weight. And those are all just random stats that you can be super lucky or uh, some things can have not so great stats. Well, my helmet's pretty cool too. It's got plus one physical defense and plus eight durability. Like here, my uh, my gloves have plus one physical defense, plus two magic defense, but they have minus five durability and plus one weight. So they can roll random stats based on, you know, just of the whim of what the drop is like that day. So you can get cool stuff and you can get crappy stuff. Like my chest piece is kind of crappy. For soul rank 11 chest, I got minus one physical defense, plus two magic defense, but then minus three durability and plus 0.4 weight. So everything has like a random... This was just a stock uh, nomad boots of... Yeah, Nomad Boots of Hope. So they're the SR9 version of Nomad Boots. And these actually had a stat roll right in the top there, so that durability plus 5 is in addition to the minus 7 durability that it rolled as a random. So it can be, like, cumulative as well. So these are uh, SR11 uh, Rogue Pants. Fighters, Thief, Samurai, Ninja Lord. So some things can be super lucky and some things can, of course, not be. Which, you know, breaks up some of the monotony of just the same old crap all over the place. Speaking of not having the same old crap all over the place, I mean, pretty much everybody over here has a different outfit on. You never really find two people that have the same outfit. People mix and match all the time. This guy is clad in the whole new uh, sphere outfit, so that's one thing. But lots of people mix and match. You know, there's a lot of different weapons to choose from, obviously, because they have more dungeons. But you don't see a whole lot of people wearing the same crap all the time, which is refreshing. Let's see if I can get over here to where some of the uh, more cool stuff is going on. Lots and lots of shops, which is really neat. Uh, we were having a discussion in another thread about the chick that distributed stealth potions. She's still well, and she's right here. She, of course, tells me that I'm far too powerful to need a stealth potion. So, well, too bad for me. But she was willing to give five stealth potions to anyone who was SR5 or younger. There's a gnome wearing the new uh, outfit. She's kind of hot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, USR11 thieves can look back to the uh, having a full outfit and not really wearing the Adonis thing and, you know, all that garbage anymore. The other cool thing is uh, if I could find somebody wielding a plus six item. Plus six has a yellow glow. Plus seven has the same green glow that we're used to on the NA. And the plus eight weapons actually has a, uh, a purple glow. <laughs> So some other things to kind of look forward to, like when you finally achieve that better than plus five over here. Not that it's difficult, but, you know, it just kind of gives you a, more of a reward. You don't just have the same glow at plus five and plus six. So I think that's enough for... Ooh, there's a pretty dress. This is the one I really desperately want to come to North America, because I like it. Hello, pink dress sama. Doetashimashite. Mm -mm. 
I would love to buy your delicious master staff for 350 million gold, but alas, I am a tad bit short. Mm. Anyway, before I get too shinied, that's just a look at what's going on over here currently, and what I wish we had. Or at least some of the things. Anyway, until later, Johnny.